Hey guys, it's Cassia and welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is all about what I bought for my new puppy, everything I set up for her in our apartment, picking her up on the day as well, and also bringing her home and her first 24 hours with us, her first night, and how she settles into our apartment and living with us at her forever home. I'm really excited for you to meet her. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel. You guys can already tell by the title but this is definitely just already my favourite video I've ever filmed and I'm like 28 seconds into filming it um, but this is just gonna be the most exciting thing that ever happens in my life. I'm getting a puppy! Ooh. Today is Friday, January 28th when I'm filming this. We are getting a little Caboodle cross with a Maltese. Currently, she is five and a half weeks old. So we are picking her up when she's about eight to nine weeks old, just depending on how vet checks and everything go. So in about three to four weeks, we'll be picking up a little angel baby. And if you guys are new here, my name is Cass. I make lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I mainly show you my life working from home as a self-employed social media manager content creator but i guess we're gonna be throwing my life as a puppy mom a dog mom in there so if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff then please subscribe to me that would mean the world to me and yeah i guess just stay tuned so you can see our little baby In this package, this massive package, is my Shein order. Now Shein actually have such an amazing pet range and it's all so affordable. I think just for like when she's a puppy and you just don't know what she's going to like or not going to like, I think going for something like this is completely fine because you just don't want to spend so much money on all these things and then she just like doesn't like any of it. So. Let's dive in to what I got from Shein. So this is a little bubble tea toy that she can play with. Lint roller thing. A little travel water bottle and it also has a treats compartment at the bottom. Food bowl, little onigiri toy. It's actually a cat toy but it's a little fishing toy. For a little puffer jacket. When she finally gets all her vaxxers and then can go out for walks, it's gonna get chilly so. I got the same puffer jacket but in purple. I got a few of these little blankets actually cute little purple blankets that she can snuggle up with a little purple tennis ball this is a little purple leash also from the Petsin brand purple licky mat to put like peanut butter on it's like a car seat belt almost done i promise this i love is like a little brush thing to wash her with you can open this and then put the shampoo in here and then it comes out and you just like brush her little strawberry squeaky toy but just like a little purple bag put like the water bottle in here and it fits in there treats her leash and stuff and yeah that's that then this is gonna be one of her beds i'm not gonna lie i bought multiple beds for her so this was the first one i've just heard that dogs love ones like this because they can really like get in under here and just like dig and just be in there a purple one so of course i had to buy it that is everything i bought from shein and also her crate only two more weeks till we get her. I will talk to you again when we set everything up. So this is going to be her little playpen area. I'm happy with it. Kept it pretty simple for now. So this playpen is from Kmart. It's pretty sturdy as well, which I love. And it's got a good amount of space. Here we just have this little cloud-shaped feeding mat with a pink um little bowl for her lines the whole floor with puppy pads and actually underneath we've got these like foam mats so when she's a bit older all the puppy pads can go away except for that one over there but she'll have these mats underneath so that's good and then we have her crate we've just put all of these little purple blankets in there and actually under there is a waterproof outdoor cushion still really comfortable for a bed but it's waterproof so if there's any accidents in there, it's really easy to clean. And then we put a little blanket on top as a cover, just because it just makes things a little bit cozier for them when they're sleeping. Over here, I have a little camera for her. I'm still yet to set this up. This will be for when it's time to leave her alone in the house. At least they have eyes on her and can check on her. We've also over here set up a little gate so she can't just go into the kitchen by herself. This is her little 
going out basket. Um, so I've got her harnesses, her collars, um, I've crocheted her a little, little sweater. Um, and I've also bought her some clothes too that she's going to be way too small for right now. We also, out in the balcony, have her designated little pee area. So we've just put these two pads of grass out here. We also have a grass potty pad thing, I guess, in there. That'll be where she mainly goes to pee. And then we've put another little playpen around it. Over here we have her toy basket. It is already very full. This is a very spoiled dog, you guys. This tub here, it's got all of her grooming stuff as well as cleaning stuff. Wipes for her, we've got carpet stain cleaner, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I also bought her a deodorant. Toothbrush in there. This water is cool. It's meant to be like to freshen their breath. There's ear cleaner, her hair brushes, thinning scissors. We've got all of her grooming stuff in here, basically. This is just one of my favorite things that I bought. I don't know why. Um, but it's this treat jar. A whole pack of wipes as well. We've got poop bags, just endless amount of poop bags. Yeah, we also have food related things. We've got a lick mat, we've got a Kong, and we've got other treats in here too that we bought. Today is the day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So it's 7.22. Um, I've been up for an hour now and my friend is on her way. She's almost here. We are meeting the breeder at about 9.15. We're leaving a bit early because it's about an hour drive away and we also want to get breakfast on the way. So we're going to be leaving pretty soon, like in the next 20 minutes or so, which is insane. I had the worst sleep last night because I was just so excited. I wanted to show you what we're bringing in the car with us. I have everything all packed here. So we've got a little backpack here. We're going to be bringing her home in this. It's just like a little basket thing. Honestly, I'm probably just going to take the bed out and put it on my lap. Got a puppy pad, got this bed, and we've put two little toys in here. We're also bringing this portable water bottle and inside here there's treats. I have this backpack, I have just my purse. We've got just a small harness and leash. Got these treats as well, just in case she doesn't like the other ones. And we've got some puppy pads. Hopefully it's a smooth journey. It is only an hour drive, so should be fine. The next clip you see will be me in the car on the way to go get her. I am so... I'm beyond excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Stopped off at Macca's, of course. <laughs> Yum. Hey, but showing you to the vlog. Hello, we go. <laughs> Daddy cleaning up the pee. Changing the pee pad. He's like, what are you doing to my pee? She likes to sit in it. Don't you? You like to pee and then just sit in the pee? <laughs> She's got her tail. She got it. <laughs> Me so. Why is your tail more fun than your toys? Can you please explain? <laughs> hey! <laughs> five now and I thought I would update you guys so I haven't really spoken to you at all today but you can see her just napping in there she has actually been 
a little angel literally as soon as we came home this morning we got home at like 11 ish and she's been here for a few hours now and i think she's settled really well um but literally as soon as we came home i tried to take her outside to the pea grass area but she didn't really like that um but then when we came when i put her straight in here with the pee pad she peed straight on there and did a little poo poo as well so she is an angel for now she settled really well she's been napping a lot um, which was which has been hard for me because I just want to like sit there and watch her and I just want to like play with her This has actually been such a perfect day with her like I cannot imagine this going any better honestly But tonight she's gonna be sleeping out here and I'm gonna sleep on the couch um, Just over here so that I'm close by to her so the night, but we'll see I'm gonna carry this vlog on so you guys can see the first 24 hours with her see how the first night goes because that was always something that I was curious about when watching other people's bringing puppy home videos i was always curious about the first nights look at her she's just in her crate she's cuddling up to her heartbeat lamb she's so sweet hello hi baby <laughs> 7 30 and we've had a few accidents now haven't we she's peed a couple times on the carpet around there me so and now she's biting that i think she's gotten a bit more energy and she's being a bit more comfortable here but she loves this tool yeah could get it i so gave her a bit more food and she's in most of it but i think i'm gonna be taking away her food and water at about eight o'clock which is in about half an hour, so hopefully she, I can get her to finish eating the food. Where did she just go? Miso! You went to the couch again? Miso! Oh my god. Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Go get it! <laughs> Why are you being so cautious? Oh my goodness me. You love this bed, don't you? Yes, you do. You just sn <laughs> Me so. I'm not playing. Hey, puppy. It is five in the morning. Hey, baby. Ow, you're scratching me. Oh my goodness me. It's five in the morning, baby. Oh. No whining. Oh. I just took her outside onto the balcony there and she did a big poo poo, didn't you? And now she's all playful. She's got so much energy at 5.30 in the morning when mommy doesn't have any. Where are you going? Are you eating my hair? Miso her breakfast. She seemed to have calmed down now and she's been napping for the past hour or so. I'm still so tired, but um, I've been watching a bunch of Zach George's YouTube videos and TikToks. He always makes me feel better. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> she's trying to scratch at this. Oh, you stopped doing it when I put the camera on. Oh, no, she's going for the... Miso! Just given her a little brush. Sprayed her with her little deodorant so you smell good. We might even try and brush her teeth today, right? Because you've got smelly breath. Put her in the bed and see what she does. I need to get dressed and ready for the day. 
Will you just chill out here? She loves this bed. So I'm hoping... <laughs> she's just plopped. She's done. Can I just stay? Look at your little face. Look at her. I hope you can hear the dishwasher in the background, but it is 9am now, so it's officially been 24 hours with this little miss, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here, and I'm actually going to pick up and start a new vlog so you guys can see the rest of my first week with her. hope you guys enjoyed meeting me, so and coming along with me as I prepped for the apartment and went and picked her up and spent our first night together i am so in love with this little bundle of joy um i've obviously made an instagram for her um so oh big yawns i'm boring i'm so sorry follow me on instagram and also there's gonna be so much more puppy content coming obviously because She's a big part of my life right now, isn't she? She's all I can focus on. Subscribe to the channel. Oh my god, I'm so boring. Okay, I'll put you down. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching it with me and just experiencing the most exciting day of my life. Anyway, I'm going to go. If you guys are interested to see how her first full week goes, then stay tuned, subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's video. I'll see you guys then. Bye. Out in the park. I don't know.